But yeah, man, welcome back to the Snake Trap Sessions. I am so excited to be back. now i'm gonna reveal to you guys what came into the mail on last vlog everything is settled everything's ready to go so why don't we go ahead and get this, this part two started let's not waste any time and let me show you some of this heat that just touched down to the trap Cheers. oh here we are inside the trap yet again guys the first thing i'm gonna reveal to you guys came from my boy Aaron Milano Exotics, my homie from up north. He's so dialed in and he's passionate about breeding Boega species, okay? Boega species, there's a handful of Boega species out there. Some of the stuff he's passionate about are the Sulawesis, which are the black mangroves, also known as Boega Gimme Gimme Sonata. I hope I said that right. Probably said that completely wrong. It's Jemmy, Jemmy, Sen Jemmy Sonata. Oh my god. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get butchered by Stephen Cush. I'm gonna show this production that he just sent me. This is a female that he made just last year. It's doing really well. It's thriving. Or I think he even made it earlier this year. I don't know. But let's check out this uh, Boega that my buddy Aaron was able to produce and sent down to me. It's already a pistol. It's already a pistol. It's already a pistol. Check this thing out, man. This is so awesome. So this is a rear fang venomous snake. And yeah, they are born with these yellow stripes, but as they get older and as sheds progress, this will become a pitch black mangrove snake. And apparently they're feisty. Check this out. Gorgeous, man. I'm so excited. This was definitely one of my favorite Boega species to keep for quite some time and I was never able to inquire it. And now that I have it, I'm very excited. So shout out to my boy, Aaron, go give him a follow. His Instagram will be in the description below. So make sure you give him a follow because he is the Boega King. I'm telling you right now, he is the Boega King. And then a very simple setup as you guys can see, one perch, some sphagnum moss, a hide and fresh water every day. TV, man, I'm telling you, that snake is beautiful. So on to the next package. My boy Andrew Acevedo was able to facilitate this package for me because I picked up some boas from my buddy John from Infamous Exotics. Please do me a favor, head over to Instagram right now and follow this guy's new page. He works with hots, boas. He is somebody who's been around in this hobby who's no joke. He's really about this. So do your boy a favor right now. Head over to Instagram and follow my man John from Infamous Exotics. He went ahead and sent me some beautiful productions. And these are boas that are going to fit in perfectly to the boa projects I already have going on. Let me check out these two beautiful BCA boas and see what they're all about. All right, so here's the first female that just arrived. This is a blood boa, Central American boa constrictor. How beautiful is that? Definitely looks like she means business. And she came out, shed, she shed in the bag. So this is her prime time right now. This is her fresh skin. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Cannot wait to get this girl breeding someday. But yeah, look how awesome that is, man. Shout out to my boy, John. And this is just one of the females he sent. Why don't we check out the other 
blood boa that he sent me. Let's actually pack in another morph. Let's check her out. Okay, guys, so here we have a blood T positive albino boa constrictor. Look how beautiful this girl is, man. And yeah, she's a pistol for sure. She means business. So pretty. You wanna say hi? But yeah, man, beautiful female added to the group. This is gonna be amazing to the projects. I cannot believe I just added this female. Shout out to my boy John again over at Infamous Exotics. Sorry if the face is a little blurry, but she's not she's not playing around. Look at her. There she goes. <laughs> Look at that. Very bold, is not scared of anything. Hi. We gotta find a good name for you because you just don't give a shit. What do you guys think would be a good name for this uh, boa here? Because she looks like she's ready to fire it up. I'm thinking Queen Latifah. What do you guys think? Queen Latifah, maybe? <laughs> All right, let's, let, let's leave her alone before she jumps out of this tub and chokes me. You can't forget about this beautiful United States captive born and bred emerald tree boa. Gorgeous, this girl is. Confirmed female. Added to the lineup as well. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to stack up my emerald game as much as I can, I'm trying to get my northerns up. I believe this is my seventh emerald female, so still got a ways to go before any kind of breeding or anything like that. But she looks great, she looks beautiful, looks healthy. Can't wait to get her established. We made it here at the trap and get her inside the podcast room. It's going to be awesome. Day by day, and I'll keep you guys updated. Now, guys, I completely forgot to update you guys on that wild caught emerald tree boa that I did a video on a month back. She's doing fine. She's doing good. She's right here behind me. She's perched up. She still has not eaten a meal. Um, I have not offered in a few weeks. I'm waiting for her to show me the signs that she's hungry. So I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully she turns around here soon and starts knocking down meals. But if not, if not, we'll see what happens day by day. I have one last snake to show you guys. And I'm telling you right now, this snake is the one that has changed me as a person, I feel like. I mean, I, it has changed the way I look at any snake. This is a snake that made me fall in love with it from the get-go. When I first saw this snake in person, I just thought in my head, I could not imagine owning a snake like this. And this was about three years ago. Speed up to now, I now have this snake in my collection. This snake is so legendary. The documentation on this snake would make any emerald tree boa breeder jealous. I can tell you that right now. This is enough. Why don't we tap into the podcast room and why don't we take a look and break down this final pickup that I got yesterday here at the trap. To do that, I do want to say special thank you and a special heavy shout out to my girl, my one of my best friends, Desiree Manat. This was only possible because of Desiree. Desiree did not have to sell me this snake, but she did. She trusted me. And I'm telling you right now, Desiree, I'm going to do my best by this snake and you can best believe that, okay? So thank you so much for believing in your boy yet again. And let's go check out this beautiful Northern Emerald Tree Boa produced by Rico Wilder. Hello, boys and girls inside the podcast room, which is my favorite room. And it became my uh, favorite room even more now. Guys, I present to you 2012 Rico Wilder production, Miss Willie Line Northern Emerald Tree Boa. This is a snake produced by Rico Wilder the Northern Emerald Tree Boa legend himself, who's no longer with us. And uh, yeah, here she is just chilling in her new enclosure. This is a three by two by two. And yeah, I cannot believe I have this snake. This is so dreamy. Look at the bandings, look how thick the bandings are. That's what makes a, with this Miss Willing line so notorious is the banding, the banding how thick and white it is on the, on the back. It's so beautiful and amazing. Seriously, a dream come true. Wow. 
Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, man. I mean, I've been in this room just checking her out ever since I got her, and it's hard for me to even do anything else. It was even hard for me to even do this vlog right now. But I just wanna say how happy and how lucky I am to have a snake like this. And again, I couldn't thank Desiree Monat enough for putting this snake in my collection, putting her under my responsibility. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna do my best by this snake, best believe my passion has just has just blown up through the roof now, all because of my homegirl Desiree. So thank you so much. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the part two to this week's vlog. Uh, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you're on top of every single vlog that I drop here on the Snake Trap Sessions vlog. And hit that like button, man. If you're excited with what I'm showing off, if you feel like this is doing good for you, then hit that like button. It really helps me with the algorithm and, and whatnot. So I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you guys stay on top of my podcasts as I drop every week on the Trap Talk with MJ Podcasts channel as well. Go down to the link and subscribe. And then also, please subscribe to my Trap Talk Clips uh, YouTube channel that we're on top of every single clip that I drop from past guests and whatnot. So all those things help me. If you guys go down to the link, subscribe to those channels. It means a lot. And yeah, I'll catch you guys here next week on another Snake Trap Sessions vlog. And I'm out. Cheers.